Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Nuka Apoptosis. This is where solution is solution for your game needs. As you remember, from the last part we had finished the prologue. And now, I found out a new character in this game. His name is Lenin. So, let's see what happens in this castle. Why we need not fear the devil by Castor Salvador. Hmm. Alright then. A valuable painting. The princess likes to collect them. So I'm guessing the other girl in the main screen is the princess. A flag for my collection. The clock ticks on. Long live the church. Alrighty then. Is this my bed? It's a nice bed you got. What is this right here? Five years ago, the goddess abandoned us. That was when Hell's Gate opened up, and those things invaded our lands and murdered all of the humans their, their grotesque selves came across. That was when Princess Micaiah, our savior, who, was, who has the blood of the goddess in her veins, created this castle to house all of the people she managed to save from the, those things. She dreams of a day when every last one of those creatures will be sent back to hell, where they belong, and for all of us to live in eternal safety. And we are here to help her fulfill that dream. Meeting her, the one who holds the power of the goddess in her hands, we know we have finally been rescued from this hell. Yeah, sure, why not? You obtain Lenin's gem. So Lenin is a guy, I'm guessing. He dresses nicely, as if he was a butler. What is that? Feels like some sort of pause. XX, XX, XXX. Daily news Castle Salvador to take over position as head of the Salvador family. Hmm. A bouquet of beautiful flowers. It is no longer possible to find such beauty outside of this castle. The clock ticks on. Hmm. The evening news. Does the Messiah exist or does he not? Theories abound. Oh. Sleepy time? Nope. Never mind. Oh, okay. For a second I'm like, can I walk over tables? Well, that's surely normal, right, people? Hmm, there are actually people around here. Hello, sir. Oh, Vincent. Good day, sir. Alrighty then, why are you staring at a tree, Vincent? Is there something wrong with this tree? Should I beat it up for you? Because I have strength. Good day, Mr. Lenin. The princess is still resting. Perhaps you'd like to check back later. Okay, then. I'm gonna check. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like, it's just a tree, right? I'm gonna check over here. And thankfully, there's a safe point. Hello there, sir. Alright then. Hello, Mr. Linney. I think Miss Fluera was looking for you. Fluera? Fluera? What does she want this time? Who knows? She should be still be in her room. Alright, I got it. I'm gonna try to do like a cool guy voice with him. That music though. Very nice. I like it. The football is missing. Lillian, have you seen it anywhere? Oh, not again. Well, I have almost exactly 2 hours and 48 minutes to, to my next shift. Guess I can help you look for it. Oh, thanks a bunch, Lillian. Cause I'm such a nice guy and amazing good looks. Right. Oh, jeez. Can't the princess, princess just water all these plants at one go using her powers or something? What a pain. Ooh, so the princess has powers too, like Mika Chan, wherever Mika Chan is. Well, the princess is pretty busy keeping those things out of the house. Unless you want her to abandon that duty. Ha, <laughs> duty. You've got a point there, Lenin. Because I'm Lenin. Hi, Mr. Lenin. How are you today? I'm fine. Can't 
Tano. Why don't you say anything to me, Tano, with your hat or whatever? Okay, I'm just checking. I thought there might be something like under the table. Guess not. That's a food bowl, right? Right here? Is it just a food bowl? Is that not a food bowl? Ah, a bunch of lies. Alright then. Hello, Chef. Do you not have work to do with the rest of us, sir? Aaron seems rather grumpy today. Guess he must be hungry. It's not time for dinner yet, you mean? Oh, I'm just hungry. Whee, I love food! I like that guy. He knows what's up. But where is this food bowl? I thought that was... I thought this was the food bowl over here. But no. It's just fruits. And not a bowl, I guess. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Sir, you're in my way. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Now you move when I leave, huh? Where did that one trick go? Oh, there she is. There's a food bowl, huh? There's a food bowl. Alright, whatever. Let's move on. Alright, there we go. Alright. Uh, a lot of save points in this house. Wait, I didn't read that sign. Physicians clinic. Physicians clinic. Alright. Come on now. Tiny vials filled with strange liquids. Empty flasks. Alchemist of the past. Human behavior is all based on the brain's organic structure. With a little tweaking, it is possible to induce external influences. This is all theory, of course. Besides, such tweaking must be done on such a minuscule level. It is impossible for a human physician to do it. The following people are not allowed in this clinic. Poor Elizabeth, the person I need to see. Who are you? Well, hello there, Mr. Linney. Are you here for a treatment? No, thank you. Of course you aren't. You never fall sick, boy. Young people these days should all should all be strong as as strong as you. Oh wait, then I won't have a job anymore. <laughs> Alright then. What, what was the point coming in here? Nothing. Whatever then. Check this room. Go the mirror. Hello. Good day, Mr. Lumin. I heard from Miss Janelle that you don't like mirrors very much. I just don't bother myself with them. Because I know I already look too good. I don't need a mirror telling me that. Snap. Good day, Lenin. Do you want me to paint your picture? No, thanks. Because I already know how good I look. Right? I'm guessing, I'm not exploring, I'm finding, I'm trying to find cool air. Jesus. Shannon. Teresa. Sylvia. Janelle. Flair! Flair! That's Flair. Okay, no, I'm gonna go to Flair. I'm gonna go to Flair. Hello. Hello, Flair. Lenny. Okay. I was wondering where you've been, Lenny. Just in time, I was hoping you could help me with something. Why should I be running your errands? Because I said so. Anyway, Clara. Clara. Oh, sorry. Anyway, Clara just kicked me out of her clinic. How rude. I need to give her a piece of my mind. Were you trying to steal medicine from the clinic again? I thought I told you you weren't allowed to do that. It's not fair. Why am I the only one banned from Claire's clinic? This is discrimination, I tell you. Isn't that a good thing, though? That means you get to enjoy personally administered healing for my princess Princess, when you, are, when you get sick. That's not the point. I don't need direct healing. I need medicine and tonics. It's for the sake of science. It's for the sake of my research. None of you understand. Psh. How tragic. Shush, anyway. Anyway, I really 
really, really need that jar of Auntie Rock for my Save the World potion. Will you help me out? Clara won't let me go anywhere near her clinic, and Reyna refused to help me anymore. Ah, sure, whatever. Sure, why not? I have nothing better to do anyway. Really? Oh, Lenny, you're the best. This time I'll make the perfect potion to destroy all those hell beings that terrorize our lands. If the prison princess can't do it, what makes you think you can? Besides, I'm just already thankful enough that she keeps those things out of the castle. You never know until you try. Whatever you say, just don't blow anything up, alright? Okay. The antiretto is in the gourd-like bottle at the edge of Claire's desk. You won't miss it. Come back soon. Fleur will be waiting. Okay. Like, the song just ended there. That's pretty mysterious. All I've been doing in this episode is walking around. So, maybe I'll just call this episode Walking Around or whatever. Ugh. Jesus. Why are we getting to the stairs? I can't tell if this is an RPG or horror anymore. So, uh, this is the one I need, right? Unless I need to talk to you. Actually, I'm here to get some anti rock for the. anti rock for the. princess. Do you have any to spare? Oh, no way, Lenny. I know full well that the mistress is still asleep. She couldn't. shouldn't. she couldn't have given you any orders. Now, are you here for treatment or are you just trying to steal some of my homemade tomato paste? I'm not. Wait, is your homemade tomato paste any good? I knew it. Yes, this answer I will make the perfect shade of brown paint for my palette. Oh my Jesus. Damn it. Did she just. I'm going to strangle her with my bare hands! I can't, I'm sorry, I can't shout. That's right. I'll make her, myself a new jar of antioch with her blood, jeez. Calm down there, lady. What do you say, Lenin, huh? That's nice, but it's not my problem. Oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Creepy. Creepy. I'm sorry I didn't read that, but that's creepy. Creepy, creepy. I'm gonna say more of that. Go in here. I'm gonna take this. Thank you, lady. I feel a strange shit on all of a sudden. What is it this called? A murderous intent? Oh, uh, yeah. You better watch your back for a couple of life times. I don't know. Sorry. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you go. Flare. Flower. I'm gonna call you Flower. You bought a back room, Lenny. You're the best. It was nothing. So, do you want to help me out with my experiment? Please don't blow this place up. I won't. Alright. Alright. I'm out of time. I'm done with your useless task. I've gone nowhere. D damn it. Alright. Whatever. Whatever. These things happen, but I'm hoping something will happen soon. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Alright. I hope you guys enjoy this episode of me going through Mika apoptosis. Yeah, that's all I can say. It's all about your talking and nonsense. <sighs> Whatever. So yeah, this has been a solution. And I'll see you guys later.